Hey guys, Dan here from Terra Lim Industries. I want to introduce the 2022 SR5 Hilux we've just picked up. It's taken a couple of months to get all the parts ready. Um, ARB have already come to the party. We've done an ARB front bar, side rails and side steps. There's a diff breather kit in there by ARB as well and a couple other nice little goodies. Today is the next leg of the journey. We're starting off with a lift kit. We've got black bear tyres, we've got fuel wheels. But onboard air, underbody protection, and a host of other stuff happening. Uh, it's going to take a couple of days, but we've got Josh here from Top Notch 4x4. This guy's uh, one of our dealers on the coast here, and of course, they've been maintaining our vehicles for a long time. So, I'm going to hand over to Josh. We're going to talk lift kits and why Josh and the guys at Top Notch have developed the full true three inch lift kit for the N80 Hilux. We decided we'd go a three and a two inch lift to try and level up that nose so we don't have a, a whole heap of. Um, droop at the front given that we will have a winch in there, we've got all the bar work, underbody protection, um, the host of other gear on the car. So weight was a consideration, of course how it looked was a consideration and more importantly and I think most importantly how it drove um, and there's only one, one place on the coast that we trust with our vehicles and that's Top Notch 4x4 and what they've done for us uh, is a whole host of research and they've built their own kit to suit the N80 Hilux with a true 3 inch lift kit at the front and then of course the factory two at the back um, and then this this time we've gone for parabolic so i'm going to hand you over to josh here from top notch um, the wizard behind it all and we're going to discuss why a three and a two suits the n80 and how that happens all right so what we've done is we've just designed a kit to suit the n80 hilux and we've taken the best of every part from all our suppliers and put them together so we've got the blackhawk upper control arms we've got the platinum struts and coils from cal off road We've also got a fat bars diff drop um, and we're running train tamer rear leafs just to take the rigidity out of the vehicle when unloaded. Another thing I want to note is the parabolic rear leaf. It's not as common uh, to see in an aftermarket setup. A lot of your factory uh, vans and stuff typically have a single or a double parabolic leaf, but not so much in loaded situations where uh, you have varying loads on a touring setup like an N80 Hilux, a Navara, whatever it may be. Um, so we've chosen a terrain tamer. I think it's about the only uh, reliable choice. I'm not too sure on the market, uh, but it's certainly one of the, the most common. And the reason we've chosen that is we will have a varying load. Um, we do still want the back end to work. So when we are loaded, we want to make sure that the uh, spring has the ability to still move and flex and be comfortable and not transfer that load through the chassis. Um, we do have an airbag kit as well, which we'll talk about in a minute, but the leaf is the primary load bearer uh, and we wanted to make sure that it was something that allowed us to work with what we were going to do with the vehicle. So being parabolic, it's a little bit more flexible, they're a little bit stronger. Um, they obviously offer a lot more comfortable ride in varying load situations. So if we are loaded or unloaded, it's still going to give that flexibility that we need. No one wants to have their back um, destroyed by you know what typically was a six, eight, nine, ten, whatever deep leaf pack. That's that's totally unnecessary these days with parabolics. So that's all standard. They're a standard fit up. You don't need anything crazy to fit them. It's just a different style of leaf. When we are fully loaded and these leaves need assistance, we've got an onboard air kit by Airbag Man. So these guys have probably the best quality. Um, well, I would say a spring a uh, airbag assist kit. And we've chosen to couple that to Scrub King's brackets for our ARB air compressor. And that's all going to sit under the bonnet. We're going to have a fob which allows us to vary the load in each bag um, when they're all fitted up. So airbag man, the whole kit can work with the ARB compressor. That's what we've chosen to do. Uh, and that will sit in between the chassis and the leaf and allow us to uh, keep that load supported and safe if we're towing or if we are heavy going away somewhere or something like that. chosen a black bear tyre. The Predator MTs are quite new uh, to the market, so we're keen to see how they go. 
Rick down there at Black Bear reckons they're shit hot, so uh, I'll take his word for it and everyone else that uses these at the moment too. We've had Black Bear before, been really happy, so it was an obvious choice to go back there. Our wheel choice, a little bit different. We've gone for a bronze uh, fuel ammo 450, so... Not many white, we, well, we couldn't find any N80 Hiluxes, so we found a, another couple of cars with um, a bronze wheel that were white. Uh, so we're keen, keen to see how this actually turns out when it's lifted with all the bar work and stuff on it, as to how a gold or bronze wheel looks. Um, so they're a 17 by nine, zero offset. And uh, that should bring it pretty well out to flush. Um, which should look really good. Not too big, not too small. No, not, we're not really into poke per se, but we are trying to get that wheel out a little bit so it doesn't interfere with body mounts and stuff too much. Um, but we'll see how we go. So I'm really keen to see how these go. We do have six here. Uh, people go, why six? Well, it's an interesting conversation. We, we're still waiting on a tray and a canopy. It's gonna be another 10 weeks, which will bring us close to Christmas 2022. Uh, and in which we plan to have the other two on the back of the car, on the back of that canopy, bolted up too. So, uh, while we could, we got six. Uh, supply and demand can be a little bit challenging. So that's why we've got six here. Do I need to talk any more about why we got six? So yeah, really keen to see these go on. Uh, it'll be the last thing because they're not gonna fit otherwise, but we've been rolling heavy on the stockies for about three and a half thousand Ks, and I'm well done with that, so. Onwards and upwards. All right, next thing is underbody protection. It's probably one of the, the least sought of things uh, when you are setting up to do long trips, even beach work up on the um, any of the beaches on the weekend. We've chosen a Bay House bash plate. And these guys specialize a lot in N80s and uh, JB74 Jimny's, ironically. So that's quite a popular little choice, those Jimny's. So they're a four mil stainless plate. They're locally made. Uh, in Brisbane and these guys do a really really good job I've seen a couple of these get absolutely abused on chimneys and a couple of N80s and they do everything they need to Bayhouse makes sure that their product goes all the way back behind the transfer case on the N80s there is a little actuator there for high low a lot of people have failed due to various um, you know, issues like water ingress but also uh, they get knocked if you are doing heavy off-road stuff or even if something knocks it on a, uh, a bush track or something, which we've had happen before, not on this vehicle, but on other ones. So it's really important to protect now all the electronics that go on underneath vehicles, not just the mechanicals or the physical um, motor sump, transfer case, all that sort of stuff. Why we chose Bayhouse is really simple. Firstly, they're nice people. Secondly, they fit a diff drop. So a lot of UVPs don't tend to fit diff drops, and if they do, there's some sort of customization uh, we wanted something out of the box that had fitted the diff drops, so we chose Bayhouse. Um, you can see the other two plates there behind me. It's pretty serious gear and it's bloody heavy. So I'm looking forward to having this on. It'll look good and it'll serve just that little bit of peace of mind when we are out and about. I don't have to worry about vital parts underneath the car. All right, handover day has come. It's been in the shed for, for four days, a whole heap of stuffs been done and it looks incredible. Bigger and better than I thought it would. Do you want to talk us through exactly what you've done, Josh? Yeah, so in the front we've, um, we've stuck some Cal Off-Road struts and coils. We've got the Blackhawk up control arms as well. We've also done a Fat Bars diff drop and a Sway Bar relocation. We've also gone and stuck on the Bay House underbody protection. They've come up awesome. They're going to protect all yeah, your electric really good. actuators. Um, and all the gear underneath there. Um, around tires the back came there, up really well, didn't they? Yeah, the tires, tires wheel combos really look fantastic. Um, the bronze looks awesome with the white. Yeah. Um, yeah the black bears, they're also really cool looking on the car. Mm. Um, around the back, <laughs> we've gone and fitted the train tamer parabolic spring, so whether it's loaded or unloaded, the yeah, rides, it rides really well. It's still gonna be really comfy. Yeah. Uh, we've also got the Cal Off-Road Platinum Bill Stains in the back. Yep. Uh, we've gone and put grazable shackles, new bushes. Yep. Everything like that in the rear of the car. And then we've also done an airbag van onboard air system. So with a flick of a switch, um, the, 
yeah, we can adjust the rear of the car, left to right, um, according to weight in the back or what we're towing. Yeah, that's fantastic. Looks really, really good. Again, better than I thought it would. There's a little story around this tub. So when we ordered the vehicle, uh, I think it was April, we ordered a cab chassis, didn't need, or what we didn't, we didn't think we needed. Uh, tub is just another problem to deal with because we do actually have a tray and a, um, a canopy going on this car, but of course that's been delayed for now going on five months, so we've had to go for a tub. The only bloody tub we could get was a silver SR tub. Um, so that's what lives on the car. And no, there's no fuel door release, so it constantly lives open. Under heavy braking, it does open and shut itself. So it's, um, yeah, it's what we call our little patchy, our car. So that's what we call it, we call it patchy. It's, uh, it's a talking point, that's for sure. A lot of people ask us why our fuel door is open and why we've got a different colored tub on such a nice new SR5 vehicle. So that's the story there. Um, we're kind of we're kind of owning it, and um, hopefully soon this tub can actually go to the scrapper, and we can get our tray and a canopy on. So that's, that's another video, and probably 2024 at this rate. But we'll see how we go. Hopefully by Christmas, it being August now. So I'm stoked. It done yeah, it looks so really so well. After I haven't been here, I dropped in Monday, dropped the car off, we did some chatting. Um, and yeah, four days, it's now Thursday morning and I can't wait to see how to drive.